Greg, Apollo, Peter, Todd, Cordell, Croy, Bob, Mark, and Roger Bob. These are the names of some of the Real Housewives of Atlanta husbands and boo things we've gotten to know over the years. And as viewers, we've loved some more than others. It's Justin Diego and I'm back with another binge worthy video and today I want to talk about this problem we're having with the husbands on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now before we get started I want you guys to go ahead and hit that subscribe button then hit that bell button because you don't want to miss out on being a part of my notification squad where you get to be the first to see videos that I send out to my most loyal subscribers. While The Real Housewives of Atlanta doesn't exactly seem like the show I'd watch with my dad, I think it's cool to see the man on the show. Back in the day, if you guys remember, there was even talks of a Real Housewives, or I'm sorry, Real Husbands of Atlanta spinoff special in the works. Do y'all remember that? Okay, I know I'm not crazy. It was definitely season six, episode 27. There was a special that aired right after the reunion titled Husbands Revealed. Yes, it was so nice. We had Greg, Todd, Apollo, and Peter for a full hour, and boy was it nice to have an almost full cast of married couples. People never even got the chance to ask that stupid question that I hate, how come it's called The Real Housewives of Atlanta when no one is even married? Like, shut up. But you don't really have to look far to realize that we definitely have a problem or two. We have six real housewives, which means in theory, we should have six couples. Instead, Candy and Todd are holding it down with Nene and Greg. Everyone else is either single and dating or they have a husband who wants nothing to do with the show. We're talking about you, Kenya. It's gotten so bad that I don't even think there's going to be a husband segment at all for this reunion. And there's a whole episode coming up where the girls are so upset with Kim's husband, Croy, just because he won't stay away. Apparently in season 10, episode 16, which airs Sunday, March 18th, in an episode titled Driving Miss Kim, the ladies have had enough of Kim bringing around her husband, Croy. If it's a girl's trip, it's a girl it's a trip. Girl. Nene Leakes is completely over it. No ding-a-lings unless no they're in your suitcase. <laughs> and she feels that Kim is actually ruining the girls' trips and all of their outings. While Cynthia actually thinks that Kim is onto something. At first I thought it was just weird. And then the more I thought about it, it was like, she might be on something, you know? She might have figured it out. Just have somebody drive you around and wait for you everywhere, you know what I mean? I was like... Do you guys think that is weird that Kim keeps talking about Croy all the time and bringing him around, or is that just something that wives do? In one of the latest teasers for this episode, Bravo premiered a scene where Candy Burris faces off with Kim Zolciak over this topic. You know they've definitely had their problems in the past, but they recently made up. However, Candy definitely lost it because Kim started to knuck and buck. It's, it's just like it was. When the did I call my husband during the elevator? Wait, what the f you cussing it? No, I'm or getting very irritated. irritated. What well, if you getting irritated? Do what the f you normally do and take your ass on and get in that car. Don't get me wrong. I'm always here for a cute little shady brawl, but. Are they really this bothered that Kim is bringing Croy around? Or is it more so just awkward since nobody wants to talk about the fact that most of the girls don't have a husband? Okay, I don't know what it's going to take, but I hope that Bravo fixes all of their husband problems as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're new to Binge Worthy, you have to make it official by liking, commenting, and subscribing because this channel is lit. And for all of my current binge watchers out there that be commenting on every video, I see you, I hear you, and I cannot wait to know what you guys think about this video. So comment below. Thanks again for watching. I will see you guys on the next one.